uh, Corporal William Kaufman, if you will, please, sir, over there. <clears throat> Kaufman, Corporal, in grateful recognition of unyielding achievement in the highest ideas of law enforcement and in maintaining, preserving, and protecting the lawful rights of all citizens by the Veterans of Foreign Wars in the United States, VFW Post 3073, 2016. We award you the Law Enforcement Award and thank you for your duty as a police officer. And I mean that sincerely because I'm also retired from the same organization you're from. Yes, sir. But I appreciate your service. Dude, don't yeah, I was gonna say this. <laughs> the next award goes to the firefighter of the year. Presented to Scott Foreman in special recognition and the highest praise for alertness, personal courage, and ever vigilant guardianship of life and property by the Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States, VFW Post 3073-2016, Fighter Fighter of the Year Award, and thank you for your service. Appreciate it. To Bradley Reader. Brady. Brady, I'm sorry. Come on. Brady Reader. I got a grandson named Bradley. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Brady Reader, in special recognition of exemplary service to humanity and by administrating emergency medical assistance by the Veterans of Foreign Wars <coughs> of the United States VFW Post. 3073 for 2006 presents this to you for your EMT of the Year Award and a little honorarium. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to make a comment to you because I had the privilege of serving with, these, uh, with the Dothan Police Department before I retired. I'd like to ask you to please keep your first responders in your prayers because especially now, uh, 2015, we had over 200 law enforcement officers killed nationwide. 16 was higher. Uh, it's a thing that when these people put their uniforms on, even a few firemen, they go to this thing, they don't know what they're getting involved in. They're receiving calls now that are false calls, but they have to go to them and they meet some person that's mentally ill, or whatever you want to call it, decides to end his life while he's on duty. These gentlemen sacrificed their lives for us. So we honor these first responders for the outstanding job we do. Please keep them in your prayers. And they don't mind if you see them rolling around to say thank you for the service that you're doing to the community, just like we thank the veterans that are serving in arms way today. I appreciate, living, I appreciate living in this great city. You can tell I'm a Yankee, but I can't go up north now because I don't have a passport. <laughs> but I thank you all for your service to the community, and I thank all the citizens to show these gentlemen their proper due and respect. Thank you. Thank you.